Morning and welcome to our next poem, Sondag Aande, or Sunday Evenings, by Fani Fulyun. Uh, this is an interesting one with a very strong metaphor, and when you understand that and just learn these notes that I've made, then you'll be absolutely fine. I uh, just want to see that I'm recording. Yes, I am. Just using and trying a new program to get better quality. So, just to remind you also that uh, all these notes uh, will be in the new book, this one here, the, the Afrikaans made simple, awesome in Gedichte. So, all your awesome notes and summaries will be in there and questions. And all these poem uh, discussions and questions that I've done will be available in this, in this blue book. Remember also that the purple book is for your grammar. So if you're on IB and you don't have this book and you are in grade 10, 11, 12, you really need to get this book because that will sort out your, your grammar completely. Um, if uh, you can get these books in, uh, various, in various ways, you can buy them at CNA. Remember this new book is not quite available yet. We're in lockdown, so it will be available soon, I would say within a month. Then you can pick it up from from CNA or from the ITSI website. They do it. The ebooks, the ebooks are there. All the other books are there. Awesome and Gedichte will be there shortly. You can also just contact me directly. Club in with a few mates. Get six books. <clears throat> I'll courier to you. That might be quite easy. Or get your uh, class, your teacher, just to order for the class and put it on your uh, on your accounts. It'll be very affordable that way. I'll make it as cheap as I can. If you have any questions or orders or anything, admin at madesimplerange.com. And also, that's my WhatsApp number there. Keep, keep, uh, just keep an eye on my WhatsApp statuses so that you know uh, when these books are available and if there's any updates. Also, subscribe to the channel. So if something new pops, pops up, just like, like and subscribe. Um, and do the bell button thing. So that you know when it comes up and also if you can help me by just sharing the link to this of this channel or of this poem on your whatsapp status that way everybody will be helped and everybody will be happy so i hope you are doing well let's go into the poem this morning Sondag all right so let's once again go through the translations first uh, get the idea or the feel of the poem and then we'll look at the notes so the notes will be in the book so don't stress about writing down the notes, they'll all be there. This is just for your first uh, round to, to understand it, or maybe you've done it in class and you've, or you're absent or something, and you just need to recap. Sunday evenings, first thing we need to do is realize that Sunday evenings is a very negative con uh, connotation to it. Okay, That sort of sad, depressed feelings that hits us on a Sunday evening before Monday comes and all our responsibilities come. Okay. So let's get the translation out the way. So the answer is roofwells eight and the tai donker. So the evening. Okay. Aunt and nach is not the same thing. They're just like evening and night time is not the same thing. So the evening sends out its birds of prey, roofwells, out into the tai donker, the sticky dark. Right. Hulle draai eers rond. First they circle. Round and round. Like birds of prey or vultures would do. Hoog boor die stad se woonstel dakke. High above the cities. The roofs of the, of the blocks of flats. So high above the blocks of flats. High above the roofs of the blocks of flats. Maar, but... Met de tijd cirkel hulle laar, comma, al laar. Met de tijd in time, or eventually, they circle lower and lower and lower. En sink op die kromp, uh, uh, kromlampale neer. So they sink down, and they go and sit on those crooked, Lamp posters, upside down umbrella, those those old bent ones, not the wooden ones, the one that's like an upside down J. Okay, they sit down on those lamp posts. Just get that picture in your head. Um, 
we've done that one. Van waar hulle met skep oor by vensters kan intie, from where, with sharp eyes, they peer, they stare, into the windows of the people, where they're sitting in their houses. Okay? What are they looking at? Na die prooi, prooi is the prey, the, the prey that they are after, wat elke week sila leen voor sondag aan de staan. So their prey who stands, staan, alone, very alone, sila leen, sometimes they say stok sila leen, but here they say sil alien. they are praying or looking at people, um, waiting for Monday to come, Sunday evenings there. Okay, so I hope that paints quite a mental uh, picture, quite a strong metaphor here of birds coming down, people in their homes, they're circling down, 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 they sit on the lamppost and they look into, into the window. All right, so what does all this mean? So I'm just going to erase this quickly and let's see if we can make some connections here. Okay, so first of all, the title is quite a loaded title, quite loaded with meaning. You'll have to um, just pick up a few notes there. So obviously, niemand hou van sondag aande nie. Nobody likes Sunday evenings. Why? Why? They could ask you why. That would be a good question. Want hulle moet die volgende dag werk. Okay, they have to work the next day. They have to go to school the next day. There's a seriously negative connotation to a Sunday evening. So they could also ask what symboliseer dit, what verteenwoordig dit, what does it symbolize? Well, it symbolizes a very depressed mood, the neergedruktheid, that pressed, depressed, miserable feeling that you get on a Sunday evening when you are sitting down and everything that you were looking forward to on the weekend is over and you start thinking ahead. Oh, what's coming tomorrow? I've got a test. I've got rugby practice. I've got choir practice. I've got another test on Tuesday. I've got debating on Wednesday. You know that feeling. Uh, we all sort of get it. Business people also, when they start thinking about all the meetings and things that they have to do the next day, it's a very negative feeling that sinks down over you and takes hold of you in quite a, quite a strong way. So, what symbol, so you should have learned this vocabulary. Ten neergedruktheid, a laag gemoed, a low mood, swaar moedigheid, heaviness, a heavy, a heavy mood. So you can use any of those words. And even depression. You can like, like, have temporary, like serious <laughs> depression when you think about all the things that you have to do for the week. So what could it be about? Okay, werk, verantwoordelikhede, responsibilities, wat voorle. All those responsibilities that lie ahead. Interesting that the title is also in the plural. Okay? That makes it even worse. Makes it even more intense. That it's Sunday evenings. If you think about the school term, uh, you guys at IB will have half term. So you sort of count down the weekends before half term, especially if you're a boarder. Um, Sunday evenings are, are, are quite hectic. Um, and it's in the plural here, it keeps going. So you've got three, four, five weeks before you even go home. Okay. This, it, it never stops. It seems like these Sunday evenings, just one after the next, they just roll in. And I made a note that says, ongenaakbaar. It's merciless. It's, um, it's, uh, it perseveres. It doesn't, it doesn't go away. It's a problem that remains. So that is the ideas around the title. Okay. So let's look at, the first line, the aunts die sê roofvols uit. So roofvols, um, interesting metaphor, very powerful, very effective. Okay, roofvol in this uh, poem is not a, not a good thing. If you're the prey, or if you're a little animal dying on a plane, then you don't want to see vultures and eagles and things circling around your head. So that, that anxiety, that is what this poem is referring to. So, this verteenwoordig die stress en angst 
funny aunt. It, it, it's what a, they definitely have to ask something about these earthfalls. What do, what do they mean? What do they represent? It's the stress, it's the angst, it's the anxiety of Monday's stress that is coming. If you say that, you will get your marks. Uh, you can elaborate a little bit if they need more marks from you there and that sort of question. The Naviak is now for pay. The weekend is over. And ask next year on our A to C. There's nothing left to look forward to. Um, also ironic here yeah, that uh, these birds of prey, are, they're operating in the evening, which, which makes them even more sort of um, evil in a sense. Because they rely on their sight, eh? so typically they would hunt at day where they can see the animals, but here they are hunting in the evening, okay? So that makes them even more scary. So there's no real word for scary in Afrikaans, but just I think for this, it makes it more angstwekkend, more um, it, it intensifies the anxiety, angst, it, it wakes up anxiety, angstwekkend, okay? So if they ask something about the birds hunting at night, then that would be your answer. It makes it even scarier. It makes it even more intense. Um, that because this feeling hits you in the evening. Sunday morning is still fine because Monday is still far. By the evening, you start feeling those little pangs of distress. Okay, then here's a very interesting uh, thing. You just need to watch out for this. This I would ask something about this. Tai donker. Die, die donker. Um, it's the sticky dog. All right. Why? What? What is this thing with sticky? We had the same idea in another poem where the girl drops onto her bed after school and she's all sticky from school. Yeah. The darkness is, is, is sticky. Two two points here. Eh? Two. They could ask you for. This could be a two more question. I would definitely shoot for that. So what is that? Why is it so effective to say the sticky dog? Well, the donker is tight, but you sit there and fuss. You're stuck in it. You can't escape it. Time is ticking over. You can't stop time. You can't stop the darkness from coming. You can't stop the Sunday evening from developing and eventually becoming Monday. You, you can't. So in that sense, it's you're you're stuck in your circumstances. You sit fuss. You can't even snuff me. Also, in in the same, it was the same in the other poem. Tie can also mean tough, like in mentally tough, emotionally tough. Um, this darkness will will make you tough. It's and it, it's also a tough time. Okay. So by we look at date. It's a, if you say something that this is by die date. Then you are saying it's a difficult time. It's a sticky time. It's difficult to get through because it's holding you back. Okay, so just watch out for that. Just going back to to the aunt. Um, interesting there that this is personification. Eh? It's saying that the evening is sending out the birds. Okay, so this is an inanimate thing being given... Um, characteristics of something that's living. So it's personally for Garci. So be careful if you you might struggle to fight it. You can usually miss it. Um, it's a personification of the evening, but it's but machet. The evening has the power to send out the birds. So that is personification. Let me see if we're still recording here. Yes we are. Okay, let's move on. I'm just going to erase some of this so we don't get confused here. And I'm going to move, if you don't mind, I'm just going to move this down a little bit so you can see better. There we go. Okay. So, hulle draai eers rond. So, they turning. What, what is this turning around thing? What, what could they ask you? What could be the question? Well, it refers to the fact that this negative feeling, the negative gevoel sucks starig neer. It's a feeling that doesn't come quickly. We can all sort of block it out successfully for a while, but after a while it sort of hits us all. 
a little dioecious oscils. They are they are turning around like like vultures. What wach to the last positive gedachte staff. So they're turning around like vultures. They're waiting for your negative thoughts to to take hold. They're waiting for your last positive thought to die, and then they are ready to strike. Okay. Hulle draai en wacht tot hulle prooi die mense verswak. They, they waiting for the people to, to, to become weak. Die voels draai rond soos die mense se gedagtes. That could be the second point that you could just mention. Um, that the birds are turning, turning just like your thoughts are turning. Your thoughts are spinning, your head starts spinning about all the stress and things that are coming for the next week. So that is quite a powerful thing. It also builds tension. Hey? It builds a bit of tension. There's, there's turning birds, that ominous sort of feel to it. Uh, the bow spinning. I'm just going to add it in there. It builds tension. Okay. So yeah, they start hoog boor die stad, sy woonstel dakke. So they start high above. The thoughts are still far away. Okay, so I say that the Die gedagtes van die komende, the coming week, is eerst ver weg. Is first they are far away. Maar ten sondag aan sak hulle laar. But by the Sunday, they're starting to come lower. By the evening, they come lower and lower and lower. The tension is building, the stress is building, the anxiety is building, the depression is building. There's a building up. It's a clear negative spiral. So the birds spiraling like that is a negative sort of thought spiral. That is the the picture that you need for this poem. A uh, bit of, just a note that I stole from uh, you, Moira, if you're watching, is that, and which is very sharp, the the mense voor na by mekaar, so people are living close to each other, maar elke net hulle eie eensame angst vir die volgende dag. They all have their own lonely anxiety for the next day. So what does that mean, really? It means that nobody can do Monday morning for you. Nobody can do Sunday evening for you. You have to do it yourself. So even though people live together in a house and everybody's in their own rooms, they all face their own unique anxieties and stresses for that next day. And nobody can take that away from you, okay? Nobody can chase those vultures, those birds away. They are yours to deal with. So it's that sort of ironic contrast there that yes, we're all together, but we're all facing fairly unique challenges. Dad goes to his business, mom goes to her work, uh, your sister goes to this school, you go to that school. Um, everybody splits up and, and, and faces their own their own. Uh, stresses. Then we have the word mar and typically when you see a conjunction in a, in a poem just watch out. It could be a, a vending, a change. Uh, this is not really a, a change, it's just the, the pace is picking up, the intensity is picking up. Okay. Um, the, the, so the note there that I made was the spanning was far weg, but now is the direct and bedreigend. The, the tension was first it was far away, but now it's quite direct and threatening. Okay, met maar met de tijd cirkel laar al laar. Okay, again the repetition there herhaling, and the word met date. They do the same thing. They, they build tension. So, for metatate, if there are something there for metatate, just say, the angst and bedreiging rock all meer so as die tijd verloop. So, the, the, the anxiety and the, uh, the threat is, threats are becoming more as time passes. Tension is building. Very important for this poem. Another way of saying it is the intensity neem to. These birds are getting closer. And closer, more threatening, more threatening. Lar and lar. So there's that repetition. Why? Don't just say it's to emphasize the word. It's not really to emphasize the word. It's, re it's really to emphasize the idea behind the word, the messages behind the word. So it proclaimed to the angst. Proclaimed to the spanning with bow. The angst near do. 
Die voel ze amper recht om de prooi te vangen. The birds are almost ready to catch their prey. What is their prey? It's the people sitting inside their houses. Then again, quite a negative uh, image here is sink near. They, they sink down. Op die krom lampare. So again, this, this, this idea that the stress and anxiety can't be stopped. You can't take away or buy away or give away your stress for Sunday evening. You have to own up to it. You have to face the, these, these vultures. So again, you can just say, die swaarmoedigheid sink neer op die werkersklas in die stad. So it sinks down on the working class in the city or the school going class in the city. So now move this down again. Okay, so if we go to the, so the chrom lamp is an interesting, uh, interesting visual image. There it is, the chrom. So they sink down onto the lamp post. They're not flying anymore. Now they're sitting, they're perching. Okay, so what could these lamp posts symbolize? So built from stress and drug. They're definitely an, an image of, of stress and anxiety or pressure. This as of the pala the drug full. The way that they're hanging, it's almost like they are feeling the pressure. It also makes these birds seem really big. Those who hurt the forces, that they are big and heavy, that they are really straining these poles. And who feel stress. They they represent a lot of stress. Okay. The irony, the irony in this is that the lampposts are supposed to be a symbol of light. Okay. Lampale boot licht te bring, maar hier geel a plek waar die voels kan sit om by die vensters uit te kyk. So they should bring light. They should be a symbol of, of, of light so that people can see where they work, where they are walking in the dark. But now it becomes a thing where the, these, these awful birds can sit and watch you through your window. So the poles are actually helping the roofful, so they help endlich, actually. So in a sense, it becomes an ongekeerde symbol. So it's a flipped over symbol. So it's, some, it's a positive symbol made into a very negative symbol, which I thought was quite clever. And it might be a question, it will be, it will be a difficult question, but you can do it if you understand it. Ongekeerd is a flipped, a, turn, a symbol turned upside down. Why? Because here it's supposed to be positive, here it's negative. All right, um, so let's look at this, the scap oor, van waar hulle met scap oor by die vensters intier. Uh, if you think about it, roofwools have very good sight, sig, roofwools het baie goeie sig, but in this poem they have very good insight, they have insight into your emotions, they can look inside your head. Hierdie gedig het hulle inzig, they have insight, hulle bring swaar moedigheid vir die prooi, and they have this ability to bring this, this heavy feeling of negativity to their prey. That is, that is the, that is the irony about their sharp eyes, normally it's, um, and they can see in the dark, okay? they can see in the dark, and they can see into people. They can see what you're thinking, what you're feeling. All right, then this thing there where they look through the windows. Okay, now a window is, in a poem is always going to mean something. It's just not just there by um, by accident. It's it's intentionally chosen for them to look through windows because it's, it's so rich in symbolism. So what does it represent? What does it symbolize? Fifteen voordig. It represents a toegang, access to people's deepest emotions. Die mense sit diepste emoties. Okay. Die voels kyk tot in die mense se emotionele wereld en bring vir hulle nog angst. The birds look into people's emotional world and brings them more anxiety. That is what those windows can mean. Okay, you might have a different note there. That's fine, as long as it makes sense into the context of the poem. And the tear and they tear, they're staring, eh? 
He's dead in tears. They, they, they. You know how when, a, when an eagle looks at you, it's like they look straight through you. Okay, so let's look at the last line. Now the proi, so they're looking at the prey. What is their prey? What is it? What for the word is Dit is die gewone werkende schoolgaande mens wat druk van zondag aan voel. It has a very negative connotation, negative connotation. So the prey is your normal working school going person. We all know that feeling after carte blanche and after the movie. What are you when you lie in your bed and you've done your Instagram and now you're thinking about the week. And you think you're starting to starting to remember about tests and different things that's happening and it all seems so much and so overwhelming. That that's that is exactly why you are the prey of these birds. Okay, but Alka Vek Sila Lian, interesting yeah. Everybody stands Sila Lian Fuer Sonach Onda. We all stand alone in front of Sunday evenings. Are you literally alone? Well, that's the first meaning. The first meaning, yes, you, some people do live alone. He means says, Werklik alleen in lies, en hulle is eensom. You're facing all these anxieties, nobody can tell you it's going to be okay. There's nobody to make you a cup of warm milo when your stress is too much. You are alone. That's the first meaning. The second one is, Elke mens is eensom in die opzicht dat elke en sy eie verantwoordelik julle en stress het wat vir hom wacht. So we are lonely in the sense that each and every one is an opzicht in the sense that we all have our own responsibilities and stress that is waiting for us. And here's the point. Niemand kan jou werk en verantwoordelikhede vir jou uitvoer nie. Nobody can do your work for you. Nobody can do your responsibilities for you. You have to step up and you have to do that. And that is what brings anxiety sometimes. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Reim and structure. Let's just look. Again, there's no rhyme, there's no structure, it's a free verse, there's no capital letters. I think there's one comma there. Okay, that's, there's no, absolutely no structure. So why is that functional? Remember, that's not like that by accident or because the poet was lazy. Um... It's written like that intentionally. So the past by the idea that angst and swarmoodigheid unique is and anders like for elke individie. So it fits with us this idea that angst and anxiety and that heavy feeling is unique to every person. It's, there's no structure. No Sunday evening will bring the same stress. It looks different for everybody. So that that's so the, the lack of structure supports the idea, and it also supports this idea of loneliness. Okay, there's no there's no there's no nobody can understand the exact structure or the exact form that your stress takes. Nobody can understand. They can try to, but they can't really. They can give sympathy, but they can't really understand. So that the the rhyme and structure supports that idea. Um, that would be a hard question. I don't think they'll ask that, but it would be a very brave or very mean teacher, <laughs> mean teacher that will ask that. Okay, just lastly, looking at the theme then. What is the, the central theme? What's the, the real crux of the thing here? Uh, what's the essence of the poem? This is how I saw it. Now, there's no real wrong answer yet. If your teacher had it a little bit differently, that is absolutely fine. Or if you used another book, I don't know why you would use another book. You should be using my book, but this is what I would say. Elke persoon met die stress en angst van sy eie verantwoordelikhede aanvaar en verwerk. Every person must, let's go there, accept and process, verwerk, their own stress and anxiety of their own responsibilities. Okay, every person must accept and process the, the, the stress and anxiety of their responsibilities and their work. 
Allemaal voel. Everybody feels it. Allemaal voel die zwaarmoedigheid. They all feel this heavy feeling. Wat, wat hulle werkelijk sy werk te weeg bring. That, that the weekly work brings about. That is, that is, uh, what it means. That's what the central message of the poem is. In my view. So I hope that helps a little bit. Please uh, share this link on your WhatsApp status. And then watch out for that box when they... When they do arrive, all the the awesome gedicht that will be ready way before you have to write trials or anything like that. And then if you want to sort out your grammar, get this book so long. Um, it, it, it really jacks up your, your grammar. You don't need anything else. You don't need past papers. You don't need any other notes. That will sort you out. Um, and then you just have your big oral to worry about at the end of the year. And keep building that portfolio work. Um, and you'll be absolutely fine. So pop into CNA when it opens again. Look at ITSI and just communicate with me. Save my number there uh, so that you know when things are coming. And please like and subscribe and share if you have a, your own YouTube channel. Thanks for that. And we'll chat soon. We've got one more poem to do for IB. So we'll do that as soon as we can.